Hey Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading for the 3rd to the 10th of August. I am Charlene Lizette. The amulet that you got this week from Starcy Jewels, it's my jewelry line, I design the pieces myself and we hand make them here in house, is Priestess. I'm actually wearing Priestess right now. It's got um, Blue Lace Agate and Moonstone. This is a very uh, powerful activator for your crown chakra and your third eye. So the fact that you got this before I've even pulling out some cards for you, Scorpio, I almost get this energy that you uh, are seeing clearly. You're seeing very vividly. You're receiving a lot of messages, a lot of downloads, but amongst those downloads, those like psychic intuitive hits that you're getting, there's also this like fear of not wanting to accept your power or not wanting to embrace your power or uh, maybe a little bit of like resistance to what you're seeing. Um, and I don't want to say that you're turning a blind eye, but you've almost got your back to it and your car the cards are also saying the same here too. It's like, wow, two, three, four, five, six. It's almost like, uh, so uh, the hanged man is connected to Pisces and Neptune, and this piece is uh, definitely a very watery piece in terms of like connected to you, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's really hard to accept the gifts that are given to us because there's no rhyme or reason like you know why did you get the gift of clairvoyance why did you give the gift of of you know premonitions why did you get these psychic senses if no one's going to believe you or no one's going to understand you right like I, I get that or I have that conversation I should say a lot with people when they come to me and they're like Charlene I think I'm clairsentient or I'm claircognizant or I'm clairaliens or whatever um, but people don't believe me right there's this really interesting train of thought that says that the people that have these psychic gifts, um, some people end up becoming very famous with them, right? And we know like Sylvia Brown and all these other uh, really popular psychics, but yet other people are not believed. And whatever you're going through right now, Scorpio, this isn't about other people believing you. This is about you believing you with the judgment card here. You know, universe source wants you to see your power. It's like a spiritual awakening, a reckoning, and answering the call from the universe for you to turn around and be like, yes, I have this gift. Yes, I am acknowledging this gift. Yes, I know that this is a gift that is mine. Like, I see it. I understand it. It's very clear to me, right? And above that, Scorpio, this is about you no longer allowing, like this is, this is, I'm going to repeat this. This is about you no longer allowing other people in your life to determine your gifts for you. You got the devil here and the three of wands following it and the four of, uh, four of uh, pentacles and the eight of, uh, of cups. You've made this conscious choice to walk away from these people that are no longer serving you for your highest good. And kudos to that. You should be very proud of yourself for having the courage to take these big steps of removing yourself from these individuals who don't see your worth, who can't recognize how amazing you are, who don't honor and respect your abilities. However, you're still working with the aftermath of, have had, of having had their influence in your life because this eight of cups this eight of swords makes me feel like even though you realize that they're not good for you their narratives their stories their belief systems their perceptions are still somehow tied into you um a great example of this is um yeah, trigger warning, okay? Um, people, oftentimes people have eating disorders. Um, they have these eating disorders because somewhere along the way they were told that they were too big or they were told that they were too small. They were somehow deeply critiqued and uh, suffered some sort of trauma because of their figure, because of their body. And so they develop these eating disorders in, uh, in order to compensate for that trauma that they experienced around their body, around their physical body. And... What's happening here for you this week is like you finally physically freed yourself from your oppressors, I almost want to say. Um, however, you still hear them. 
up here. And because you still hear them up here, this week the universe is saying to you, it's time for you to get grounded. It's time for you to move, shift, do something in order to receive and see more clearly, especially with a knight of pentacles there. It's like, this is going to take some time. This is going to take some work. You know, this is going to take some courage. You're going to have to find the inner strength to face the fear with confidence, literally is what the card says, right? This fear that you have that, you know, somehow you're still like being held captive by these people. It's a farce. You understand that? It's a farce. Taurus, yeah, this is about your values. This is about your you, your sensuality, your self-love, your self-worth. This devil person here has really done a number on you, Scorpio. Earth school, life lesson, soul growth, higher learning. Yeah, you're you're really going through this journey right now of deep, deep alignment. Okay, deep alignment. There's um there's a course that I've created uh, called Align, and it's for those who are ready to take that next step in their life to find their life purpose, to align with their life purpose, to embody their higher self. And um, there's a link in the description box below for a discovery call a half hour with me. We talk about it and we see if it's a right fit for you. Um, but I would really encourage you, if that's something that you've been looking to do, like to free yourself from the false chains, to step into your power, to align with your life purpose, to take control back of your life, I would, you know, encourage you to book that session with me, that half hour with me, because I almost see, like, I literally almost see you walking through this new chapter, like opening the doors and walking through and seeing things from a completely different lens. Like just look at this person here, right? Like just opening themselves up and, and recognizing and realizing their worth, their value. Like you're no longer afraid to step into your power. Um, or that's where you're at right now. Like you're on this precipice, this teeter totter of like old you full of fear is like wanting to let go. New you is saying it's time to let go, but like, where am I going? I'm still holding on. I know I need to walk away, but I'm scared to walk away. Do you see how this story just continues to tell itself? And even with priests, it's like you're opening yourself up to this whole new lens of awareness, uh, uh, Scorpio. You could have had a Sagittarius, a Capricorn, um, or a Taurus, uh, not all of you will have this, but like that could have been the one that really like held you down. Okay. Um, you got worth waiting for healing family issues and engagement as part of your love reading. So divine timing worth waiting for. It's almost like universe is wanting to align you with your divine partner. Sorry. But first you need to align yourself. You got what I'm saying? Like when you align yourself, you'll then be an energetic match for your person. For the longest time, I didn't understand that until I went through what I went through over the past couple of years. And then I was like, oh, okay, I get it now. Um, you know, there's a reason why um, you got to go through some self work stuff first. Healing family issues and the five of swords and engagement and the eight of wands. Yeah, like you're really ready to move forward here. So you have to take the actionable next step, Scorpio. I'm going to put this video right here for you to help you with this whole freeing yourself and really reclaiming your power. And like I said, if you want to book that discovery call with me, it's in the description box below. Uh, let's see if align is right for you. And if uh, that's something that you're being called to do, align your life, align with your life purpose, your soul purpose and embody your highest self. Um, all the info is in the description box below. Um, and that's your reading for this week, babe. Just, I just, I hope that you remember um, how powerful you really, really are. All right. We will see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.